What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own NFTs, all the layers that goes into it, how to make the different layers and how to export it to. And then I have a step two tutorial on how to actually generate the 10,000 NFTs. Okay, so first up what you want to do is you want to come to the link in the description and you're going to press on that link and it's going to take you to this canvas site. If you click on my link you're going to get some, some few things extra because you use my link then you want to go and you want to create a you want to sign up for the pro plan uh, you can sign up for a free trial or whatever you want to do or just pay like ten dollars per month and then what you want to do is you want to come to this page right here now you're going to press on create design and you're going to press custom size now the width is going to be 1000 and the height is going to be 1002 okay now you're going to say create new design It's going to take you to this page right here. Now, if you have your own layers, you can just input them in, but I'm assuming you don't. So this is why Canva is so good, because Canva comes with a lot of free stuff that you can use. For example, now we're going to make the base and the, the hats and everything for NFT. So first off, you want to get a base. Now the base is going to be your animal, whatever you want to use. For this example, we're just going to use, let's just say, uh, Yeah. So what we're going to do now is after we search bear, we're going to go to graphics because this is where we get all the graphics. So I'm just going to take the first one. So this is my base NFT. Now you're going to make it the size you want it to be. I want it to be this size and I'm just going to leave it right there. Now this is your base. Add page. Now what you want to do is now you want to use like you want to add different layers. So for example, you want glasses, maybe hats, maybe like a necklace sunglasses and stuff and all that kind of stuff so what you're going to do now is you're going to get that stuff so you just search glasses glasses okay. so we're just going to take the first one what you're going to do now this is important so you want to make it the size you want it to be i'm not going to put too much effort into this i'm not actually going to use these nfts for anything it's just for the video so let's just make them the size let's just say that looks good enough now when they're on the the way you want it to be on you press on it and you say control C and you put it on a blank page, control V, because then it's going to be at the exact spot that you need it when you're going to auto generate them. So now let's just take another one. And then when you're done, you just want to press control X. So let's take another one. That looks good for me. Control C, add page, control V. Now that's all for the glasses. Now we're going to add some hats. So now you just search hats. Whatever you want to use. Remember, I'm just making some examples here. Gonna take the first one, put it where we like it. This looks fine to me. Right there. Now I'm gonna press Control C and Control V. Now we're gonna add another ad. So let's just add this this ad right here. Remember Control X. Put this one where you want it. That looks fine for me. Control C. Go to your new page. Control V. Now that's all for that. Now maybe you want some chains or something. So now we're gonna search chain. Let's just take the first one that we have, go back up, control X, take the chain. See, that was now a mistake. If you move your panda, now you want to press control Z to put it how it was exactly. Now that's how it was, as you can see. Because you don't want the panda to change, otherwise it's, it's going to be like right there. And this is not going to be on the face perfectly. So you want this, don't touch this panda. I mean bear. So now take this again, let's try again. Don't touch your panda. That looks fine to me. Control C and Control V. Okay, so that's all for the necklaces. Now we're gonna do the backgrounds. Let's just add some backgrounds. Now you're gonna add. I'm just gonna use two backgrounds for this example. Now you're gonna press on this. Look at this little background color icon right there, and you can make whatever background you want. So all these colors. You can use the wheel, whatever you want. We're just gonna use this for example. So we've got that background and we're going to use a this one. So now we have the backgrounds, we have all our chains, hats and glasses and we have a base banner. Now another thing, if you want to maybe, you want to change your your color of the banner. This is how you can do it. I don't recommend you do this because it doesn't look that good. I'm going to show you guys. Control C, Control V, remember? I'm going to press on this, I'm going to edit image, I'm going to search do tone. And I can change the color, but in my opinion, it doesn't look that nice. So I don't really do this. I just keep this one right here. 
just keep the first one we have but you can play with that around a little bit and you can also add cigars like cigarettes in the mouth and everything and you can basically just play around remember it's really important that you don't touch this otherwise when you export them and all these layers come onto it it's going to be a little bit sideways for example if we accidentally do this and you export them this is going to be look control c it's going it's not going to look well but if we let's just control z this put it right there and we take this control c to nothing just control v it's perfectly where it needs to be so that's basically how you get all the layers at the perfect spot when you export this so after you're done with that you want to press on the share icon right here you want to say download you want to say transparent download that's really important you want to say download and then after that you can come and you can download these two backgrounds and then you're done so what you want to do now is you want to go look at my second video and it's basically going to show you how to export them and get up to 10,000 nfts and yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video i hope this helped you guys and yeah enjoy it